Okay, so I now know it is here. Don't know how to get up there. Well, we'll do that. We'll fight this monster quickly. That was a bit quicker than I was expecting. Let's push them both a little bit, a little bit closer. Not it matters too much. They would both still be within range, but there for the sake of it. Let's move out. So yeah, it looks like um, we need to fly through the water sack. Uh, I can see it now on the map. Isn't it great that when you're unsure about something, it's really hard to make out as soon as you're aware of it, it becomes so obvious and it feels like you should have noticed it every time. We should get some a map and some daggers from here. Wow, awesome daggers. Yeah, they seem pretty ancient. From the look of them, they may even date back to the Orb of Revolution. Oh, what about that piece of paper? Looks like a piece of sea chart. chart. Do you think maybe this is the treasure that Jimmy was talking about? Sorry, I don't think this has anything to do with it. I'd say this probably washed ashore some, from somewhere else. It might have been a cargo from a shipwreck. I believe you're right. I heard that such accidents happen often along the Oh, so before air ships, everyone travelled by water, right? I wonder if this beach is right on right on an old trading trade route or something then. So if we equip this our ability to cast arts jumps and that. Like him, and our strength only goes up by three. I think we'll do that because Joshua is very much our frontline attacker rather than arts caster, even though he has more EP than Estelle does. Now we can go talk to Jimmy and then hand this quest in. We will hand it. Oh, go see Jimmy. We will then look into the escort job. I'm looking for, looking for, for an escort for my uncle who is dead set on heading into the boat pass. Don't know where she's about to find her. Uh, to be able to pick a local. This one, uh, we need to go talk to Amelia. And then we need to head down to the end of the lesson. I do love it when machines give you lots of information. Jimmy is in the chapel. Is over this bridge up here. <coughs> hey, Jimmy. Are oh, you back? Any sign of the treasure? Uh, well, we haven't found anything substantial yet. But we did find a couple of old daggers and a beat-up map. Uh, a sea chart. Whoa! This is big stuff. Please, let me see it. Hey, calm down. I don't want you to die of excitement or anything. And over the top map. Oh, this is what I think it is. Wow, this is incredible. This is one of Sherman's treasure maps. What? Hmm? Hold on a second, mister. You said a, a minute ago you had the treasure map already. That had to have been a treasure map map. My map shows the location on this map, which shows 
but the actual treasure is. This is getting confusing. But I found the chart inside a barrel. Let's not worry about that. Sometimes we have to just suspend our disbelief to get through the day. It may seem a little strange that we find a seed chart like that, but I can't. But I kind of want to believe that there's something to all this. <laughs> As do I. Well, it, it is something to think about. But as long as our client is happy, we're happy. Even if we're also very confused. Oh, that's right. Jimmy. What about the daggers we found in the with the charm? Hmm? You, can, you guys can keep those. I, I don't have much in the way of mirror, so this is the only payment I can offer. Please take them. Share in the mystery with me. Okay, thanks. Wow, that's really amazing. This sea chart is just a spectacular, just a spectacular find. Looks like I'll be busy again really soon. Oh, I can't stick around here. Gotta take this to old Neil. Do you get deciphered? He's got a flip. Who's O'Neill? Later, thanks again for your help. Neil? Oh, okay. Now I get it. But who is he? It's no gentleman who runs the general store. He tells lots of interesting stories, but he tends to blow them out of proportion. Yeah, I get what you mean. I guess that Jimmy's been taken in by the old man's tall tales then. Yes, so it would appear. I knew it sounded too good to be true, but if it is true, maybe that chat really is the one with the fish tails. That's right. I guess it's a little mysterious. Hey, if we believe in it, I wonder if maybe we could get a payoff. Honestly, though, I think Jimmy believes a little too. Hmm? But fervently? Still, chasing, chasing your dreams isn't a bad way to live. I thought it was doing too good to be true. I, I, I was hoping that might have been the. Um, media. I don't get any idea where it is. Where to start. Okay, just a breakdown of <clears throat> um, expecting to have people around for festival. To every house and go and asking if they're, if they're there. Um, I'm walking to every house and asking if they've got an uncle that wants this escort in. I'm not entirely sure where to go on that. Hi. I know we haven't been keeping on track on these, but let's just pick it up for the game. So we have. Over two vinyl bombs. Other than that, we seem to have everything else moderately well stocked. The point of thinking about time to cash it, but to um, craft some food. Use all HP. That, that's very useful one to have. And you only make one at a time. Oh no! These are sit down meals, aren't they? I'll blast it. There you go, I've just given them plenty to pass.
for the next four days. I got Dr. Mahomes with you as well, but... Let's crack on with making a few bits and pieces. Okay, we might only have half a dozen of these. But... Doesn't hurt, does it? Can only make one of them. This. Oh, oh that's it. This nice to bring out a few things. A few little needles, because if that increases strength, that will by 5%. That's quite a good one to give to Joshua. I saw one that said move. Definitely enough, daft, daft, daft it sounds, but not a good one for Joshua. Oh, well, there you go, we've crafted a little bit of food. Saying that you wish to build the computer play with him. Wants his, wants his eldest son to attend school, but what if he doesn't want to go there? I want to say this is our first trip down this way, but it's not because we have been down here looking for the helmet crab. I kind of want to have a fight now because I want to see what sort of XP levels we're getting. Unless I'm mistaken, that will be to the Saffil Tower. What do we actually have? We had. We need to talk to the mayor. Hellgate on the not the baby one, the main one. I'm hoping no, that's no actually. Pop it on the baby one because then if they go to attack a stair, didn't think that one would do, but I'm expecting this one to. And I went to attack Joshua. Which still puts it within the catchment area of where I need it to be. Quick little things, aren't they? Here you got a double attack against Joshua. Again, how much difference does an extra level make? I know I've got an extra counter member as well, but just the extra damage that gets kicked out by Joshua and Estelle at the same time, it's just. One of those games where the level does make a difference. We need to go back to town. We need to talk to the mayor. And then that just leaves one mission as a question mark. Don't know who talked about it. This is probably the fanciest mayor's residence we've seen so far. I thought Mayor Bell was in... Um... I have forgotten what the place was called now. Not Roland. We're in Ruan now. Oh, that was impressive. This should be Gilbert. Oh dear. Can't believe the Sapphire Bloom was stolen. 
right now, of all possible times. Yeah, you're here. I've been waiting for you to show up. Hmm. Ah, Chloe, with clothes with you. Yes, I'm accompanying them. We came as soon as we saw the bulletin board. What seems to be the problem? As you can see, this pedestal used to be adorned with a candelabrum. Oh man, it really just disappeared without a trace, eh? Things being as they are, I'd like to ask you to conduct a search. What would you say? Are you available? Yeah, fine with me. Oh, excellent. And let me give you some background. The stolen item is a candelabrum called a sapphire glum. It is a fine piece of craftsmanship dating back to just after the Orwell Revolution. A Dalmore family heirloom, in fact. It would sell for hundreds of thousands of mirrors were it ever placed in the open market. Hundreds of thousands of mirror? I see. Probably not an issue of petty, bur petty burglary then. Yeah, it's not. You'd have to have some kind of safe way to launder something that valuable. Whoever took it. I missed that bit, sorry. Um, so that would rule out most of your everyday thieves. Well, actually, money wasn't the primary motive for the crime, it seems. Yeah? What do you mean? Look at this card. That which nests here is a beast more dire than any other. Can you continue to give praise to the spirit whose blue light was lost in the darkness? Read the spark it left behind, and I will be free. Ah! Seeker. Eyes of Adios see, see only the truth and... Pass it on to you? What? Look to the three-eyed giant which towers over the settlement. Do so, and the blue light will be revealed. Phantom Thief B. Does that mean it's Phantom Thief A? What's that? Not left behind on, this, on, on the bare pedestal. It appears to have been written by the thief himself. He wants us to know he did it? So I'm inclined to believe that if, was, if all he was after was money, this is a, bit, a, way be, a way, wee bit excessive. What he wrote must have some significance. It almost sounds like some kind of poetry. Blue light lost in the darkness. I'm guessing the blue light refers to the stone in the candelabrum. Yes, I'd imagine so. The candelabrum is said to have been made at great pain by the townsfolk and given as a gift. That might explain the give praise to the spirits part. No, but I get it. <clears throat> so what about that last part? Sounds like he wants us to look at a specific di di direction. Look at the three-eyed giant which towers over the settlement. Oh, that certainly sounds like he's trying to tell us where he's going. I'm expecting it to be the Sapphire Tower. And the destination has to be important somehow. The settlement bit probably refers to Ruan. The three, uh, there must be some kind of three-eyed giant somewhere in the town. Or in the city. Hmm, a giant. Oh. <clears throat> There's obviously a clue. We'll make a note of it. I can be of little use in this matter. I must be off as I have other work which must be attended. And so I shall leave the investigation to you. Sure thing. First thing is to search this room top to bottom. That won't be necessary. Why not? Those are it's always been looked over by the residents. I'd like for you to search the surrounding area. But the card left for you with a distinct clue to follow. Don't tarry. Candelabrum must be recovered. Let's see. Then we must abide by your wishes. Yes, the client is always right. Please understand, I have no desire to interfere with profession with the professionals in this matter. I greatly appreciate your understanding. Now I'll have to leave you to concentrate. I'll be upstairs, so let me know if you find anything out. And this is a strange case. Guess we just have to see where this card leads us. Must be a hint somewhere in your own. Guess we'll have to start. We'll ha just have to be patient and stay focused. Well, let's get moving. 
I need to go back up to Manoria Village. Yeah, no, there's been a lot of nice standing people pass through these areas these days. Seems the more blue your blood, the prettier your face too. Because let me say, just say, some of them really look as I'm assuming he had uh, the, the speech bump above his head. Because I was wanting to talk to him. No, just as you get close to him, okay. What does the actual Campbell Island running mission take now? Let's scout the town, okay. Ah, no, I'm in the lower section of town, right, okay. I'm in the dock, dock area, okay. I'm, I'm still expecting to be the Saffield Tower rather than anywhere else. We're going all the way back up to Manorio Village um, because that is where we meet the other person who asks us to escort her uncle. Uh, what I did just find out then though was that <clears throat> by doing so, uh, we find out that her uncle has already set off. This is the beach one. I always forget that there's one section that requires you to go to the beach to get around. And as it turns out, it was this one. No, oh, this wasn't the time I want to go to the beach. At least have a preemptive attack. As we have given them a tasty target with. Let's do that actually. How do I play this? I don't want to push them out. That's it. Now oh, let's throw that down as well. So if the stealth fails to kill, Chloe will get him. Ooh, maybe maybe Chloe will get them. Because I killed the one that that was linking him. Oh that's mildly disappointing. I just mean Joshua finishes him off. Alright, we're good to go. <laughs> I'm saying that Chloe shouldn't be that far off. I say saying that, I haven't made any reference to it in the old session, but um, Chloe shouldn't be that far off levelling up. Are you all with the Bracers Guild? Yes, we are. Are you Miss Amelia? That's right, I've been waiting for you. The Simon said something about an escort mission. Guy is someone who's heading to the mountains? Yes, that's right. I just I, I want you to protect my uncle. He's going through the Crone Trail? Hmm. Oh he, he's travelling to both, right? No, not exactly. He wants this he wants wants specifically to go to the Crone Trail. Oh, ah, how come? Why would anyone to just just go there? something about looking for some rare plants up there. I'm sorry, but I really don't know what he's talking about. Ah, okay. Well, I, I think we should ask him down for them. Indeed. Please wait a moment. I've, I've already called him. It sounds a lot simpler than we saw it on the bulletin board. I have a feeling this isn't going to go well. Rotel is an extremely, exceedingly dangerous place. I can't imagine anybody specifically wanting to go there. Look at him. We'll never know if we don't ask the man though. Oh, looks like he's here. Hmm? Where's your uncle? Well, 
It looks like he's very sound. What? Sal? The Chrome Trail, I assume. I think so, yes. And I'd ask I'd ask, asked him to at least wait until you showed up. I don't know what made him decide to, to leave on his own like this. Hmm. That's not good at all. Why would you go there alone? It's asking for it's like asking for monsters to eat you. It'd be even more dangerous in the dark. You should really be off a pass by sundown. Sorry. Came all this way basically for nothing. Don't worry about, that, about us, we'll be fine. I'm really sorry. I have I'll have to have a word with my uncle about uh, I'll have to have a word with my uncle as soon as he gets back. I I'm off go up onto a Chrome Pass. I'm assuming he hasn't made it a great distance, if he's by himself. Or the crumb trail should have said not pass. Unless he headed off towards the lighthouse, he's made it further than what's expected him to have. 